have taken a pledge and that pledge must mean something. Our word must count for something. The citizens of Jammu and Kashmir through the media and, and wider social media will see us taking this pledge. And therefore tomorrow if any one of us indulges in practices that go against the pledge that we have taken. Essentially we are saying that our word counts for nothing. That we will say one thing and do something entirely different. And therefore it is my earnest appeal to everyone, those who are present, those who are unable to be present here, that we must, as we have pledged, we must lead by example. We can only stop our subordinates from doing something wrong if we ourselves are honest in our conduct. And therefore, if I am dishonest in my conduct, I can't expect my cabinet ministers to be honest. If I can't expect them to be honest, they can't expect you. And if we can't expect you to be honest, we can't expect your subordinates. And therefore, it starts with me. I aim to lead by example. I intend my honorable cabinet colleagues to follow that example. And in turn, I expect you to follow the example they set and your subordinates to follow your example. Ordinarily, I would tell you in no uncertain terms that there is zero tolerance for this. And as far as I'm concerned, there is. But I'm also acutely aware that we have unfortunately at the moment a rather hybrid system of operating and I have a feeling and I'm, I'm going to say this regardless of the consequences some may feel that they can exploit this system to their advantage that they can find loopholes in this system that we have in JNK at the moment but please rest assured this is very much a temporary thing I have just come back from very successful meetings in Delhi. I have received assurances at the highest level that the commitments made to Jammu and Kashmir, particularly with regard to our governance model, will change. And therefore, if there is anybody who believes that somehow the fact that we are a UT will shield you from the consequences of practices that go against this pledge, Please remember, the shield may last temporarily, but it is only temporary. And that once full statehood is restored to Jammu and Kashmir, there will be no loopholes to exploit or any advantages to be taken by playing one against the other. So please keep that in mind as we now conduct ourselves uh, over the course because this is uh, an annual thing.